The difference between a average cybersecurity professional and a good cybersecurity professional is coding. If you learn how to code, it can elevate your career to new heights. And if you want to learn how to code, I recommend online courses from Udemy, books, interactive platforms such as Codecademy. And once you learn the stuff and you start writing programs, you have to continuously use a skill. What you don't use, you lose. And that was what happened to me. I fell in this trap because I started prioritizing other skill sets and I just didn't use my coding skills. Furthermore, I relied on ChatGPT to do a lot of scripts for me. ChatGPT is fast and convenient and easy, but because you're not actually using your skills, then you're, you're losing them. So I would avoid ChatGPT at all costs. I would only use ChatGPT if time is of the essence. If you're on like an incident, then yeah, use ChatGPT to write a rule to block traffic that's attacking you. Or if you're on a pen test and you have a very limited amount of time, ChatGPT is probably pretty good to use. However, if you're learning or you're exercising, do not use ChatGPT. I cannot stress that enough. And if you want to keep your skills sharp, you need to find projects to continuously do. And if you can't find projects to continuously do, Google challenges.